My name's Carl Jones and I'm the team manager at Mary Tavy Power Station. This is England's largest hydroelectric power station in daily use and possibly the most fascinating place to work on earth. I studied at Plymouth College of Further Education and I think that's, that's what's made it much more enjoyable for me uh, because I have that practical ability that uh, when we do get a problem, I'm not wrapped up in theories and I can actually get into the workshop and produce something. It may not be to the same standard as, as perhaps the engineers that could produce the same thing, but I could produce it and say, can you do something like this? And, and between us, we'll come up with something fantastic. My name's Marlon Mackin. Uh, I'm an apprentice here at Mary Tavy Power Station working for South West Water. I love it here. I've got a great mentor, and my mentor is uh, an expert in mechanical, so I should be cross-trained and fairly flexible. I've only been here six weeks, and I'm ecstatic, and I'm privileged to work here. Requires a lot of skills and qualities here though, um, which I like. I'm a very ambitious person, I want to learn, I want to do well, and I, you know, I want, I want to be an inspiration to other people I meet. Hi, I'm Ross Mitchell. I'm technical support engineer and hydro engineer for Southwest Water. The technicians I have here, the three of them, are working actively maintaining the equipment and keeping the turbines running. All of them have to be senior authorised trained with regards to switching 11,000 volts. We are very lucky at the moment because we've got a new apprentice, Milo. He's just started a few weeks ago. Southwest Water are employing 16 apprentices this year and we, we're very blessed in getting, uh, in getting Milo. My name's Dean Priestley. I'm the mechanical engineer here. I've always been interested in engineering ever since I can remember. I've always liked taking stuff apart, seeing how it works and putting it back together. College is important. You learn every, all the, you know, you get your qualifications at college, but it's in the workplace where you actually gain the experience and the hands-on skills to do the job. I think at the moment, we as a nation don't spend enough on, on training. And uh, I think as a society, we're a bit short-termism. And uh, if we don't spend enough money on training our young people, we will find that developing countries will be all more innovative and we will drop back in competitiveness and, and lose market share. A lot of young people nowadays um, may not have considered engineering as, as, a, as a career and may not have the, sort of the, the uh, expertise or dexterity to, to use hand tools. Uh, a lot of modern industries now use CNC machines and the big computerised equipment, um, but you still need to be able to operate a file and a, a screwdriver and all that sort of stuff. I'm the team manager of Mary Tavia Power Station. The entire power station can produce 2.6 megawatts of renewable energy and we will get somewhere in the region of about 9 foot of rain per year. We are one of the sad few that actually enjoy seeing it rainy. As far as mechanical equipment is concerned, I, keep, I do all the maintenance and keep it running. I've been here about 18 or 19 months and I can honestly say it's the best job I've ever had. It's so varied, uh, you're doing something different every day, it's a, it's, it's a nice working environment and all the other staff are, are, are nice to work with, so it's a good place. Running parallel with this wall, on the other side of the wall, is a 3 foot 6 diameter pipe. And then there's 18 inch pipes coming off of that one, feeding the turbines. You can see now, underneath the first top hat is where that Pelton wheel that we were looking at earlier is situated. The big flywheel, the alternator, and we've got the transformer. The transformer steps the voltage up to grid voltage. And on the end, which is out of shot from here, is the pilot excited that would provide you with the, the magnetism, the, the, the direct current for the electromagnets. Yeah, the water travels from the reservoir, which is above us, by uh, I think number one plant is 70 metres of head. So you've got the energy of the flowing water in the pipeline, which enters the turbine and actually turns the turbine, which turns the generator, which generates the electricity. So you're converting the energy in the water to electricity. I've been here for nine years now. I started off as an operator. But the lovely thing about being a technician is the ability to have an idea and actually put that into a solid object at the end of the day. We try to encourage that here on this site. 
because it's 80 years old, you can't buy equipment off the shelf anymore for this. So when we do get a failure, sometimes we need to get our thinking caps on about how we're going to resolve the problem. We make as much as we can. It's not always we can make stuff, but we, we like to keep everything in-house and, and do what we can. Nowadays, it's ten, it tends to be a, a throwaway society, but I don't like to do that. I like to try and repair what we've got, and it's sometimes you improve it. When you repair it, you improve it. This is a lovely site. We, we are very environmentally friendly, not just because we make electricity from water, but uh, it's a lovely setting beside the River Tavy, and uh, we are quite green here. The technicians that I have here, the three of them are working actively maintaining the equipment and keeping the turbines running. They tend to specialise in either electrical or mechanical. They're absolutely essential. I mean, without the technicians, we wouldn't be able to maintain the equipment and um, come to a grinding halt. They are, I think they're probably the best team in South West Border, if not South West. They're a fantastic crew and they've got a really broad range of skills amongst them. It's, it's quite an innovative team as well. We've got the luxury of being able to resolve issues and problems within the, within the workforce and uh, manufacture our own equipment if we need to. Well, it would stop. It, it just wouldn't work. After, after a while with no technicians or engineers, the place would stop. 80 years old and we're still England's largest hydroelectric power station in daily use. We're here to produce screen electricity and we take an interest in it.